Um, what inspired you to pursue a writing career? You're not asking like a BBC TV. <laughs> What's inspired you to do a writing career? Me? Yeah. Okay. Say it again, sorry. Uh, what inspired you? Uh, a writing career? Um, uh, fluke, really. Uh, I always, I was never good at any, any sort of really ac academic subjects. Uh, the only thing that I was good at really was English at school. Um, however, as, uh, as life progressed, uh, the inspiration to be a writer came from getting a job as a tea boy on High Oaks. And I think that lent myself to reading scripts and sort of marrying up this sort of, this, this person that used to be a writer or used to write short stories and long stories for the number one when I was a kid. Also poetry, I used to write that. What is, what is it about music icons such as Ian Curtis and John Lennon that compels you to write scripts about? Uh, money. People pay me to do it. If you want to succeed, you've got to be able to write and finish a script. And then you've got to make sure it's of a certain standard. Now, you know what the standards are like out there because there's so many scripts you can read that have, you know, that have been made. So it's about making sure that your script or your scripts are hitting a certain standard and therefore, hopefully, they will be getting picked up. My name's Paul Raymond. Welcome to my world of erotica. Please do come along. You, you shan't be disappointed. This is an opportunity for us to rewrite the cultural history. It's not Germany, so we'll just... Mr Raymond, would you say your work is degrading to women? No! 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 no. Think of one person that you can say, say has never had a whack. Mother Teresa. All right, name me another person. Gandhi. <laughs>